has been forwarded to an automated voice messaging system. Jordan is not available. At the tone, please record your message. When you've finished recording, you may hang up or press 1 for more options. You're late, motherfucker. I'm gonna murder you. And I'm gonna murder your dog, too. Get the fuck on Skype so we can do this slash group shit. Bye. Uh, welcome to the Slash Group Podcast. Hey, what's I'm, up? Uh, I'm not the host, I guess. No, no I'm not the host. I mean, there, 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 there's no the real host. host. Uh, hey, <laughs> what's up? Uh, welcome to the Slash Group Podcast, everyone. Uh, Derek here, as as the fine Jesse said. Uh, Jesse's the only other person with me today. <laughs> because, um, Jordan, that's all I have to say about that. So, um, we're going to do like a... A mini podcast, I guess, because um, we waited forever for Jordan, so it's going to be a shorter episode. Plus, it's only Jesse and I. So, a slash cast. Um, I, I don't like that. Um, no, I don't like that either. <laughs> anyway, um, so we're going to start off this podcast just with like uh, what we've been playing recently. So, Jesse, if you want to start off. Sure. Um, I've been playing... Uh, Oops, sorry. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> been playing way too much um, Kingdom Hearts. So much so that it's actually stopped my progress in Zelda. I don't think I've touched oh, yeah. Zelda in um, four or five days now, which is Oof. mind-blowing, to be well, honest. Well, did you say you already beat it? Zelda? Yeah. No, I, I am on my third, or I just beat my third Divine Beast. Oh, okay. Um, so actually, we're, we're right on par with each other, even though you started like a month after me. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I put in way too much time. Uh, yeah. But like... I probably have put in probably over 25 hours into Zelda, I think, at this point. Yeah. So, I don't think yeah. I did. So, um, anyway, Kingdom Hearts, sorry. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. Uh, Kingdom Hearts uh, got a re, uh, remake, a remaster for the PS4 uh, called 1.5 mm-hmm. and 2.5. <laughs> yep. And um, it's pretty damn good because I haven't played those games probably since 2007, 2008, back when... I... Um... I have I, honestly, if I'm gonna be real, I have only played uh, Kingdom Hearts one, two, and then uh, like half of Dream Drop Distance. So. Oh, you never finished Dream Drop? Uh, no, I never oh, finished geez. Dream Drop. I um, I just like I really like the f- one and two, and then they started coming out with all this bullshit, and I was like, I just want fucking Kingdom Hearts three. I don't <laughs> want like all this weird shit. I know. And and it was like on all these different consoles. I just, ugh, it was a mess. So yeah. I never, you should, you I never would. played, even though I fucking love, I will say that I love kingdom hearts and I adored the first two games yep. and I, I even adored uh, dream drop distance, but I forget what came up. Something came up and I stopped playing it and then never returned. Your so. hands probably cramped to shit playing on the old uh, 3ds. Yeah. That. It did come out on the original 3ds, not the new one yep. or the XL or anything. So yeah, the, um, like now every game is on, the ps4 which is nice yeah they cut yep. out um they cut out 358 over 2 and made that a movie which thank mm-hmm. fuck you could you don't have to go that back was to aggro that was the mobile game right no that was recoded oh so okay. that's also a movie in, in uh 1.5 yeah. or 2.5 oh, Jesus. but yeah. you can also get uh kingdom hearts 2.8 final chapter prologue <laughs> uh <laughs> So it's just funny. I know. It's just funny how ridiculous it is. Just fucking put out three. It's I this, know. Just one, two, three. You don't need all this fucking bullshit. Anyway, I go know. on. Sorry. I honestly, I don't expect to see Kingdom Hearts until probably late 2018 at this point. Oh, that late? You think? I think they they announced it so preemptively. Like they were, they yeah. hadn't even started development yet on it, and they were like, yeah. "All right." Where it's it's being made here it is yeah you think they'll do like an e3 like next year i think they they might and then so it might be like an e3 like it's definitely gonna come out next year and then next e3 it might be like actual shit yeah for it they've been doing a good job of teasing like um, all i saw was like that sh- those screenshots of combat or whatever or was it a video i can't remember they've had they've had a couple of video drops they've been like yeah. leaking some like because they have all these conventions they go to and they'll put up like uh, mm. uh pictures and stuff like that just to yep. tease everyone and it looks good like the the game itself looks good but i mean i don't expect anything less especially since it's taken them fucking 12 or 13 years to get to this point since yeah. two came out so yeah um 
you know, everyone has high hopes for this, so it'll be good. But anyway, I finished Kingdom Hearts one and beat it ridiculously quickly somehow. Yeah. Um, there's a there's a trophy for doing it in under fifteen hours, and I ended up actually doing that somehow. I don't know how the fuck I did that, but yeah. Um, then I skipped Chain of Memories because I eh, like I'll probably go back to it, but I went to um two and um God, I love that game. It's so good. Yeah. They redid the music. Pirates of the Caribbean was awful. Back oh, I remember that being yeah a topic of content. Yeah, and uh, they actually redid all, redid all the music for it, and it sounds like it's actually the actual movie's theme track. Uh, theme track. Wow, that's awesome. So it's good. The, the theme track. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, that's awesome. Yeah. Very cool. Um, and then I started near Automata, Tomato. Tomato. Is it? That sounds like an anime. Yeah. Oh, oh my God. There's <laughs> there's boobs and and butts and and ninjas and robots. Uh, so. All right, sounds like my kind of game. Yeah, it's actually really really <laughs> cool. Like I was pissed uh, in my first stream. I'm like, why the hell can't I adjust the audio in the main menu off of the screen? And there's actually oh, yeah. an in-game reason for that, oh. which I found out today. Which I was I was like, that's kind of clever. Annoying <laughs> that I couldn't adjust the volume for the stream. I so, mean, it, but like, do you want to spoil it? Because I I probably play it so um <laughs> i don't care it's yeah it's really in the game anyway so yeah. you get through the tutorial sequence you blow up this giant fucking robot um yep. and you basically you destroy yourself like you oh. you and your partner blow up and then the next sequence you wake up on this like um station they don't really tell you i think you're in space um oh, okay and you're like hey all your memory has been uploaded to this thing and now you're in a new body mm, and happy. Yeah, so, like, they have to, like, <laughs> recalibrate you, quote-unquote. So, like, one mm-hmm. of the things that happens is, like, they bring you to the menu, and they're, like, you see text at the bottom of the screen, but no voices. And they're, like, oh, yep. we need to go calibrate, you know, your brightness settings. Yeah, yeah, you can see me now. And then it's, like, wait, go to the volume slider, and then, like, you have to turn it up until you can hear him speaking. And then he goes, like, um, can you can you hear me yet? Like, as you're adjusting oh the volume and oh stuff God. like that. Sorry, I just I opened up a web page, and... There was an ad for some war game. I didn't get enough into it, but it was like, Soldiers is <laughs> dead! Right in my headphones. And I was like, uh-oh. Oh, my God. So anyway, good. sorry. Um, <laughs> but I really, I, I love, I dig the concept of the game because it tells you right off the bat, there is no autosave. So, like, mm-hmm. you can only save in the game when you're into, in, like, in, within a certain threshold of, like, um, they, they're like these... Um, like map stations you go and unlock them and they unlock portions of the map but they send out like a wi-fi signal so that you can like upload your data so that if you die you can just be put into a new body type thing that's kind of neat but the thing is is that if that happens if you do die you lose all your shit so like you have these things in you called chips they're like um these upgrades that you can give yourself computer chips right so if you die you can go back to your old body and mm-hmm. get those chips back but if you die before you do that you lose them so like it's i'm terrified because that <laughs> it reminds me of dark souls in a way yeah and i'm yep. like there there's some expensive chips like i bought a five thousand gold chip that just shows me Jesus. i think it's my it might be my experience gauge i don't even know but like you That's can all like does it show you the experience gauge right so what the what the game has is it has like these a bunch of chips in inside your um uh, yourself basically you know um yeah and um like there's a bunch of chips for like your hud your health your your map all that all that okay. stuff but then there's like these upgrade chips that like each chip like takes up a certain slot of gotcha. of points so like the the hud and the the health marker and all that stuff i'll take up like one chips spot yep but like okay. you can get these upgrades for like say you want to do more damage that takes i think it took up like 11 so like Mm -hmm. you can't fit everything so like if you wanted to you could play you can make the game harder for yourself by like removing like all these like hud chips and like all these like things that like are quote unquote normal game things um Hmm. to like kind of customize your own your own character um so like things like that i think it's really cool but like i'm also terrified to lose all that stuff yeah because once it's gone i think it's gone but I'm also curious just to see, like, because if I save before I die, if I'd be able to go back to my old save file. So yeah, I gotcha. Yeah, we'll gotcha. see. Yeah. Interesting. But anyway, it's been fun. I'm probably going to stream way more of it. I, I'm liking it way more than Mass Effect Andromeda. So. Oh, yeah. 
is it is it a new game or is it near um yeah, yeah. it just came out um last week or okay, the cool. end of march nice. so yeah it's it's fairly new people cool really really like it so it's good yeah i you mentioned it and i i did like a quick google search and saw that it got pretty high ratings but that's about all i did yeah um cool so it's good uh i've i've basically just um i finished up the wolf among us which was, was my first time playing that game mm-hmm. it was my first time playing any Oops. telltale game um oh I yeah i was actually a, gonna ask like if you've played any other one. have you seen any of the other games by them i mean i know there's like um there's like a back to the future one and there's walking dead but that's like all that's my extent of knowledge there's a batman <laughs> I don't, one uh, there's a batman one there's a batman one there's a game of thrones one um oh i knew there were game of thrones one as well yeah there's a but, lot um i had i mean a lot of people told me that i was gonna like the wolf among us the most just because it's like clever and mm-hmm. based on a comic and blah 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 so I've uh, I've really enjoyed it. Uh, the some of the decisions are very stressful. Um, yeah. I played through the game, like so. the The game kind of sets you up for you to kind of feel like the main character, Big B, is kind of like down in his luck and he's trying to do right and he just can't because of his his innate personality of being the big bad wolf. Mm-hmm. And um, so like the whole game, I'm sitting there like oh, I want to be a good boy, I want to not I want to not hurt people, and then like I noticed that as I was playing, it kind of gives you a percent of people who made the same decision as you, mm-hmm. and like I was totally in the majority, like the entire game which I guess makes for a boring playthrough to watch <laughs> if I'm making the same <laughs> decisions as everyone else has been making for the past like four years that the game's been out, or five years or whatever it is, mm-hmm. 2013 yeah, four years yeah, yeah. Um, so uh, I kind of felt bad but at the same time I just I really didn't want to disappoint, like, Snow White, who's, like, sort of your love interest, I guess. Ooh. At least your female your female interest. Mm-hmm. Um, so I really didn't want to disappoint her. So, like, my that was, like, my main goal of the game. But, I, yeah, I really enjoyed it. Did it, it work really out? Fun. I'm, no. Um, <laughs> I mean, like, sort of. Like, she, she appreciated me, but it's not like you got to, like, touch her boobs or anything. Well. <laughs> as much as I like shouted that I wanted to do that, it did not happen. Um, <laughs> well. So that's, yeah, I finished that up. So um, I think by the time this, this video goes up, actually the, the, the full playthrough will be up on our channel. So check that out. Um, Sweet. But when I wasn't playing that, I, I've been playing Zelda. I guess I caught up to you because you passed me at one point. And uh, so I just finished <laughs> actually the third dungeon, uh, the first beast uh last night um but i really don't want to spoil that game because like you mentioned in the first the first podcast is one of those games where we both feel that you really need to go into it blind and Mm -hmm. and work your way through it so i won't mention too much but still really enjoying it um yeah i just like found out some stuff that i know i want to do after this beast so i kind of have like my next my next goal set mm-hmm. so i'm looking forward to progressing through that some more good um and then uh i've also been playing overwatch a lot um with robin my gal pal um robin robin the gal pal uh, <laughs> exactly um in that i mean i as you know uh people might not know about me but i played a fucking lot of overwatch when it first came out when so when it and they announced it i was like eh blizzard first person shooter meh not duh i'm not sold don't think i'm gonna get it don't think i'll play it and like as stuff about it came out i was like i'm gonna want this so i bought it like launch day and and played it and i played quite a bit of it when it first came out and i played with you quite a bit too yeah i i was amped for this game yeah because i was watching a bunch of people because they they gave early access to streamers so yep. like I knew a ton about this game, and I was like, fuck, this looks really awesome. I knew almost nothing. I just liked the character designs mm-hmm. and, like, the fact that it was kind of Team Fortress 2-y. Yeah. Um, um, and the fact that it was like, oh, cool, you pay it once? Or, yeah, you pay once, even though I paid mm-hmm. for it twice because I, for some reason, was like, I want to buy it on the PS4 and then the PC. Well, you were amped. Yeah. <laughs> and then <laughs> I had it on the PC, so you bought it for PS4 first, and then, sorry yeah. if you can hear that motorcycle. <laughs> <laughs> um it's I fucking 80 degrees out so like the second it's funny because last last episode we were talking about how it was snowing and then cold and raining and now it's 80 degrees so new new hampshire again yep. or new england again um 
so yeah, everyone's outside having fun, and I'm in here talking about video games. Uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah, so not getting sunburned. That's okay. Yeah, you were you were amped for Overwatch. I remember. So yeah. you got it. You got you wanted to play with people, and I remember I had it on PC, and who else had it on? Paul had it on PC. Our friend Paul. Uh, no, it was and, his uh, birth. Was it his birthday present that I bought? Oh yeah, you bought Paul bought, Overwatch. I bought a lot so you of copies it three times. <laughs> I did. <laughs> That's actually really fun. That's right. It was his birthday um, present. I forgot about that. Yeah. Yeah. So there's a lot of Overwatch in Jesse's yeah. bank account history. Uh, but yeah, so, but then after a while, we all kind of faded out and stopped playing it. And then um, I met Robin uh, and she played it a ton and she's like obsessed with the characters and the lore and everything. So I was like, yeah, I'll jump back into it. And I forgot how much I fucking love that game. It's so fun. Like, and I'm... I'm, I don't mean to brag, but I'm pretty solid at it. I mean, like, anytime I play Symmetra, I pretty much get play of the game. Um, Good. Because that's, like, my, 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 my gal. That's my BB. Defense. My, my, my girl. I am. Um, um, yeah, so anytime I'm on defense, I, I play as her, more or less. Okay. And uh, Have they... offense, I usually use Junkrat, or sometimes I'll play Roadhog. Have they buffed her, um, like, Symmetra at all? Symmetra, yeah, so... Since you played, so you know how she used to put shields on people, like, as, like, a buff? Yeah. And it was, like, a shitty shield. Now she shoots a shield forward, and it, it's, like, a projectile shield. Mm-hmm. Wow. Um, so instead of, like, buffing people, she just has that. And um, they made her tractor beam longer, which did not need to happen. <laughs> so if, if people are good, they can, like, really demolish people with that. But, um, and then they also gave her a second ult, um... So instead of just having the teleporter, she now has a barrier uh-huh. um, thing, which works kind of like her old barrier where it but gave, gives people shields. Yeah. But it's like a you place it like a turret, and if uh, the other team doesn't destroy it, then you basically have an infinite amount of shield generation going on. Sick. That's cool. Um, in a certain area. Yeah, she's. I love her. She's really fun. Um, still don't really see how she's support other than her teleporter, but whatever. Um, anyway, she's the only so support you can heal, right? Yeah, she can heal herself, sort of. She gets, like, a shield regeneration ability. Mm -hmm. Not ability, but she regenerates her shield somehow. I don't even know how, but it happens. And, um, yeah, so we've been playing that a lot. Um, And I actually, today, uh, Uprising was launched, which is pretty cool. I guess we can talk about that. It was not originally on this list, but it kind of makes sense to start Is it a new game mode, or is it just, like, here's a bunch of fucking skins? No, it's a new game mode. So it's like a brawl, and it's there's two versions of it. There's one version where you can play as any character, mm-hmm. and then there's another version where you can only play as the characters that were in the battle that it, that it's based on. So it's like a lore. It's like a lore mode, oh. basically. So you're it's a brawl that takes place in King's Row um, when the Omnics were trying to, like, make peace with the humans, but then the Omnics were like, ah, fuck you, we're going to attack. And Mm -hmm. then so Overwatch came in, and they're like, no, no, no. So it's that battle between the Omnics and early Overwatch, which is why all the skins are, like, young versions of those players, like um, Mercy and Torbjorn and Widowmaker and McCree and all those people. So it's cool to see them with, like, out their robotics without the, like, limbs they've lost and... Yeah. Or with the, with the limbs they lost. And um, it's actually interesting because they put out like a little trailer for it. Um, and you find out that it's actually Tracer's first mission with Overwatch. Oh, cool. So, yeah, so it's fun. I um, um, I know that I loved watching the um, the the shorts that they did, the, the animated Yeah, the things. character shorts. Oh, my God, those are awesome. So you kind of like – it was like their way of giving backstory to each character. Yeah, and fucking Bastion's video, God, man, the, mm. the feels. It is so feely. Ugh. um, So good. But, yeah, so that just came out today, so I'm excited to play that. Robin's most likely going to want to play it tonight. Um, So, yeah, a bunch of skins, a bunch of sprays, a bunch of – Bunch of stuff to get in your loot boxes. Good. Um, How do you feel about the loot and then box that system? Game mode. I don't mind the loot box system. I don't mind the loot box system because you get loot boxes every time you level, and it doesn't take like a ridiculous amount of time to level. Mm-hmm. Like if you're winning consistently, Robin and I more often than not gain a level every time we play. So okay. it's not like it takes. It's not like WoW where you can play for like 
a couple days to get a level. It's like you play for a few hours and you even not even a few, a couple hours and you get a level in Overwatch and you get a loot box and I think they're priced pretty fairly if you wanted to go ahead and buy a bunch. And the other thing that I don't mind is that the loot boxes are all cosmetic stuff. So it's not like Yeah. It's not like you can buy a bunch of loot boxes and get items that'll make you play better. The game is balanced and fairly balanced. Right. I was actually like the plan for today was to chat about Blizzard in general with Jordan, but obviously he's not here, so it's going to be postponed. But um, one of the things I was going to rant about originally when we first to start started discussing the idea of a Blizzard uh, podcast was how OP I thought of Arissa was going to be when she came into the game, but she's actually not that bad. Blizzard did a really good job. Like there, are, there's enough characters to counter her where she, she uh, isn't that big of a problem. Some people are actually saying she's too squishy hmm. for a tank but i mean she has so much going on for her that she she's pretty useful i know robin had some really good plays as her right where she'd like uh use the the tugging orb thing that kind of works like zarya's alt but like a small version of it and um she uh she kind of tugged like a bunch of players around a corner and i was playing as torbjorn at the time in my and i ulted and killed them all and <laughs> got like a quad kill with him yes. with the alt and uh it was good nice so i gotta look into these characters because i the i think anna was the last last one that i played as kind of and then after yeah. after anna, was that after sombra or was that before sombra i can't remember sombra she's the hacker one she's like the yeah she's the hacker girl i don't think i played my as her little yet. latina <laughs> lover <laughs> she, i think i think anna was before sombra because that was the first new character they put in and then i haven't played yeah, since then i think that's right yeah yeah anna's pretty fun i give her i give players that play her a lot of garbage because um a lot of players don't play her well they spend a lot of time staring down the scope at the enemy instead of looking at their teammates that need healing because she is a healer yeah yeah i like and that concept. a lot of people play her a lot of people play her too offensively and less defensively um yeah i liked her concept which is a pain yeah she's a fun concept yeah. um, i gotta get back into that but game. yeah yeah there's just so play much shit us. to play it'll be fun yeah i tell me about it um so yeah that's what i've been playing right. and then uh i guess um a little the rest of the podcast is just gonna be like some stuff we thought was kind of fun that we saw on on the newsies on the game newsies reddit so uh on the reddits and on the on the webs mm-hmm. and uh i guess first is uh this is something that jesse i'm sure is more interested in than i am but they uh ported bayonetta to pc for the first time mm. and it's gonna be on steam or it is on steam and it's 4k compa- 4k compatible there you go um mm. <laughs> which is kind of interesting um yeah and from is it i don't know if you read it um you, I don't know if you read it on Reddit, <laughs> but uh, it. Uh, I don't know if it was both games, Bayonetta and Bayonetta Two, or just the first one. Because everywhere, I, when I, what I read, it just kept saying Bayonetta over and over. I'm gonna say it's the first one. Um, I just looked at the price, and it's only twenty bucks. So yeah, so probably just the first game. Yeah. remastered. Yeah, is it remastered? Or is it, or is it ported? Um, no, it's definitely just a port. If they're if they're just yeah. upscaling it or upresing it to four K. Yeah. Um. I mean, it's a gorgeous sure. game. The thing, like, I, because the original came out on. Uh, I don't remember. I think it was the three sixty PS three and and. Uh, I don't know if it was on the. Yeah. Wii. It was it. The first one was definitely not on the Nintendo like, console. Wii U PS four. Yeah. It wasn't. It was before. That. Right, and then it was an because ex- two came. Because two came out and had one with it, and yeah. that was released on PS4, Xbox One, and Wii U. Okay, was it for PS4? Because I know it came out; it was exclusive for the Wii U at first, and then I think it. Oh, have... I don't know. I I know that you and Paul had bought it on the Wii U, so I just assumed that it was. A... Yeah. I made that up. <laughs> I think I think it might have been exclusive. I remember people being pissed because uh, it was on the Wii U, and I think yeah. Nintendo was banking on people buying the Wii U just for that game, but mm-hmm. it was. I don't think it. I mean, it probably helped a bit, but I don't think it pulled enough. Um, probably helped a bit in japan so it's uh i think it's one on steam and two is a better game i think but uh one one is one is still pretty good if you are familiar at all with like platinum games at all um like in how their fighting engine works um it's really solid like it feels like super meaty and and good um like the combo system is uh is your it's a button masher but you can kind of 
like plan how to play um and like set up your combos the way you want and stuff um but it's 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 a good game if you haven't played it yet um i mean i would pick it up for 20 bucks on steam absolutely yeah um you you could definitely hear that motorcycle by the way so i just want to apologize yeah, it's okay. <laughs> i saw i saw audacity like rumbling and i was like uh-oh uh, i can't do anything about it please so, please forgive us um please please forgive me <laughs> in general uh, hashtag forget yeah so um yeah so i would i would pick it up uh definitely for if you haven't played it already buy it for 20 bucks on steam i think it it's yeah. definitely worth the price and it'll look it'll look prettier yeah if you have a 4k monitor do it uh i don't but it, it'll run in 60 fps apparently so that's nice yep. it did that on um, uh, on uh at least for the wii u it did too that was one of the nice things is it? that for the the re-release on the wii u it both ran up 60 fps which was good gotcha nice very cool yep. Um, the next thing that I noticed was there's a there's a rumor, a juicy rumor that there's going to be so a juicy. reboot of <laughs> some Monster Hunter shit. Monster there, yeah. Hunter. <laughs> so juicy, or is it so tasty. juicy or so good? I think it's tasty. So tasty, that's what it is. <laughs> I like juicy better. Uh, I fucking oh, I want a Monster Hunter game on the on the Switch so bad. I think it's gonna happen. So so fucking E3. badly. It's like it hurts me. It hurts me that I don't know if it's gonna happen. I know. Yet. See, we um, bought Generations, and I like we didn't play that shit at all. We played. No, um, we played a bit, but we didn't. We definitely didn't play it as much as the other one that was on the 3DS. Yeah. So. It's cause like I just want it to be HD. I like I fucking loved it on the Wii U. Yeah, that was it. It, it wasn't like HD, but it was like on the big screen, and it felt epic. And the like. My hands. On the 3DS, it, it just was. It was so cramped. I was like. It was so yeah. It was definitely cramped. Yeah. And, like, it just, it didn't feel as epic. Like, you're playing on this tiny-ass screen, and the game is about hunting big-ass monsters. It's like, mm-hmm. come on, dude. Like, it was, the game was made for consoles, not handhelds. Yeah. Like, I know it did well in, in, in Japan on the handheld, but it just, I want, I want it on the I th- Switch so I bad. think the reason why I didn't do, or we didn't play as much, um, I know that you and Paul played, you guys got it before I did. Yeah, we played longer than you did. Yeah, because I, I jumped in late, but then by that point, um it was kind of like yeah. paul i love him he has he has this this amazing way to figure out how to optimally do everything oh, but yeah. it, it was kind of just he's like, very mechanic at that, at that yeah it was just that. it got to a point of like all right we just need to farm this shit just to get me caught up to you guys and then yeah. i was like i was just getting burned out fun. i was like eh, yeah yeah we did this with the last monster hunter and i was like uh this is i mean it was it was fun because we were on the same page for that game majority of majority. Yeah. Of it, so. Yeah. Like if we progress at the same time, then it's fun. Yeah. What's not fun is when Paul plays like for twenty hours every day for two weeks, <laughs> and and we play for like maybe an hour a day for for two weeks, and he's like done the whole thing and has like the best armor in the game, and we're like. I just made a sword, a sword out of bone. <laughs> like, yeah. And he's like, oh, yeah, look at this. Well, I can like, lay things on fire from 20 feet away. Yeah. Um, oh, but, uh, yeah, so what were we talking about? We just, oh, juicy rumor. Yeah. <laughs> so tasty. <laughs> That's how we got off track there. Um, there's a rumor that uh, there may or may not be a reboot of Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. Uh, reboot or remake. I'm not really I sure entirely. I think remake. Um, so it's hard because I saw some articles that said remake and some used the word reboot. So who knows? It's a rumor. So reboot it could, be... could be just a remake. Yeah. It's a rumor. It could be either, yeah. or it could be nothing. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it could literally be nothing. Did you play the first one? Um, I played a little bit of the first one. I think I played more of the second one. Okay. And then um, obviously I played more of the MMO, which doesn't really count, mm-hmm. but it had the yeah word old republic See, in it so i played yeah i know right <laughs> like it's the same universe i guess yeah. um i yeah. i played the second one at paul's house i loved the second yeah. one it was great um yeah it was fun but i skipped the first because you really don't you like miss out on some things if you don't play the first one but it's not that major because yeah. it's a new character and all that stuff but yeah, i yeah, tried yeah. playing it like multiple times and i just couldn't get um it's just so dated like the the systems like it's that it runs it's not even widescreen um yeah and like um playing it on steam like i, I just it was like i don't want to play i kind of want to play it on the uh of some like another uh, on the tv like i want to play it on the console 
So I was yeah. like, eh, I can, um, yeah, I'll just wait. Maybe they'll make a remake. Yeah. And it looks like maybe. No, nah, maybe they, they will. will. <laughs> um, no, yeah, I'd probably, if it was, a, if it was a remake, I'd play it. A hundred percent. I'd play it. Mm-hmm. Um, cause like I said, I, I recall playing it, but I don't remember the story like at all. Um, yeah. but I remember bits and pieces of the second one. It was a while ago. I mean, what were those on? So, uh, Xbox, the, Xbox one, Xbox. not, not the, or not one. the Xbox one. The yeah, one, yeah, the original <laughs> Xbox. Um, so I'd be, I'd be down for a remake, for a, a remake. Even if it was like, I'd be down for a reboot too. Fucking honestly, I like Star Wars games. Like I liked Battlefront when it came out. Mm-hmm. I know it didn't get like the most, um, not a lot of people were super hyped about it. Well, they were hyped about it, but it didn't get good reviews when it originally when it officially came mm-hmm. out. Um, but I liked it still. It was like fun, it was and fun. Star Warsy, and looked really pretty. I enjoyed my time in that game. I just wish I didn't drop sixty bucks on that because I played it for probably a week and a half, and then I was like, "All right, oh. I've had." See, I played it for a bit longer than that. Yeah, because I I was like, I got my sixty dollars worth. For me, it was just I was like, for this being just a multiplayer, it was the same thing with like Titanfall. I was like, yeah. I love this yeah. concept, but after a while, it's kind of why I stopped Overwatch too, because it's like I, I, it's, they're all, it's all kind of the same. After a while, yeah. like all the matches start yep. to kind of blend together, and I'm like, all right, this yeah. is just kind of on repeat now, and I'm like, all right, yeah, it, it was fun. I had my time, so I, I was just yeah. like, eh. but um, yeah, I understand that. Yeah, but um, yeah, I'd be, I'd be down for a new or remade Knights of the Old Republic. Yeah. So I can actually either play it if it's just a remake, or experience a new Star Wars story. Yeah, that'd be good. Um, yeah, uh, and then lastly, because uh, this is going to be a short podcast, because um, we kind of had to whip this together last minute. But um, lastly, I'm excited about it. I know Jesse, you are pretty indifferent, I guess, but Nintendo, or sorry, um, the Pokemon Company slash Game Freak, finally was like, hey, look at guys, Marshadow's a real thing, um, which is like another um, mythical Pokemon, All right. similar to your Mew and your Celebi and your... Gotcha. Those kind of characters. Um, so I'm excited about that because we've known about it basically since the games came out because, you know, people data mine and they find names and they there's, there's even been pictures of it <laughs> floating around the internet for a mm. while. But they were finally like, here it is, officially more news to come so hopefully that means uh this summer we'll get a distribution event or maybe even like an actual distribution event where we get a code and get to experience something in game like they did for um oh what character was that they did like a little mini thing for victini which was kind of cool so i would like that if they actually made like a an actual event in the game because i mean it's supposed to be like um on par with Solgaleo and um, Lunalo, who are like these trans-dimensional beasts that represent the sun and moon. So mm-hmm. it's almost I kind of am expecting Mars Shadow to be like dark matter or like something spacey. Right. So I'm hoping there's some sort of event where we get to hmm. see it in space or something. Cool. I but, uh, still need to beat the game. So I know you do, but <laughs> I also I'm. It's funny that you say dark matter quote unquote space because I honestly think that if they are going to make a Pokemon game for the Switch mm-hmm. it's going to have to be stars and I think yeah. they would probably yeah, do that everyone's kind of everyone's kind of sold on that one that it's going to be Pokemon star Not here's the thing everyone's saying Pokemon stars but the sun's a fucking star so yeah. <laughs> I, like I want it I want it to. I obviously think they're gonna do. I think they're gonna do a Pokemon game for the Switch. I think um, the numbers, the amount of consoles sold, and like the hype behind it, is just too much for the Pokemon company to be like, oh yeah, we're releasing a Pokemon game on the 3DS again. Like I think. So what I think they're gonna do is they're gonna do um, a Pokemon uh, Crystal version for sun and moon where it's like the third the third game that kind of combines them together um like they've done for a lot of generations i really Um, hope that'll be 
I think it's going to be for both the 3DS and the Switch to kind of appease the millions of people that own a Switch. Um, yeah. Or sorry, they own a 3DS. Um, and also kind of like give the hint that they're thinking about seriously making a game for the Switch. And then maybe in like two years we'll see an actual like only switch pokemon game yeah. which i think would be fucking i rad. just uh, i can't i cannot wait to because i want to just see what an updated pokemon game would look like with like I switch know. graphics because yeah they like not hating on the top down style like that's all awesome but i just yeah. For me, the reason why I haven't gone back to Sun, or no, I don't even have Sun, Moon. The reason why <laughs> I haven't gone back to it is I never I never beat um, X and Y either. I never I never finished yeah, those. Yeah, I know you did. And um, it's not that they're they're bad games. It's just, for me, it's, it's going back to the old, like, samey sort of thing, like where we were talking about, like, the multiplayer. Yeah. It's just like, all right, I've done this. I want... Yeah. It's the best one that I've played in a long time, but after a certain point, it really just for me is like, all right, I've already done this. I want to experience something different. So if it, if it can give me like a live action, not live action, uh, like a, <laughs> a live action Pokemon, <laughs> that'd be terrifying. Uh, <laughs> oh like God. if it, I don't even want to think about if it. If it gave me like an action oriented combat where I'm like, maybe I actually control the Pokemon just, instead of just standing still, or like. So like a Pokemon tournament, kind of, but maybe? like it would be, um, yeah. Like I just my ultimate thing. Like I've had this vision for a long time where of like a Pokemon. We've both discussed like this. a Pokemon MMO, we've, right? Yeah, we've all discussed yeah. this. Me, you, Paul. Like we've all discussed how awesome, that how would be. amazing that would be, and yeah. like that's my like vision for like a game that I would want to play. Like I'm not hating on the formula for Pokemon right now. Like it's a good formula. It yeah. works, but. For me personally, I'm like ready to see something new. We're on Gen Seven, right? At this point, yeah. So yeah. they've done they've done it seven times. I think it's it's okay yeah. for them to go a little crazy if they're gonna put it on the Switch. So yeah, I agree. And they're already leaning with Sun and Moon. They're already leaning towards like a different format. Like they there's no gyms in Sun yeah. and Moon. There's the trials, which I mean, I'm. I don't know. I'm like a, a grumpy old, quote unquote, Gen One er. <laughs> Even though I've played through all the games, and I like all the games. And Generation Four is like my favorite. Um, it was mine. But, um, yeah, I'm just like it, it, it. They tampered with the formula, and I was like, ooh, I don't know if I like this or mm-hmm. not. Like, I didn't like not having. Uh, we they had the trial leaders, but it just didn't feel like they mattered <laughs> like they just felt like people yeah. they didn't like gym leader like the gym leaders felt like an actual obstacle right. whereas the trial leaders were just like we're just trying to teach you and then like there wasn't even an elite four like like they talk about how there's no elite four in the th- region and um spoiler alert there is one at the end but I um i think i got to that point <laughs> yeah so like there is an end goal but throughout the whole thing there's you don't really feel an end goal because there's like beat the bad guys that aren't really bad guys. They're just like punks. So yeah. it doesn't really feel like there's any big daunting task that at hand, like the, like the last guy. I mean, in the original Pokemon games, team rocket wasn't really this big daunting, like we're going to destroy the whole world thing either, but that's how it's been for the past X amount of generations. Mm-hmm. So it almost felt like not as, not as urgent as the last games, which kind of turned me off. But um, I've talked about this before, but I collect all the Pokemon. Like, I catch them all, and I put them in uh, Pokedex order in my bank with, like, every evolutionary phase. So I have a living Dex, and that's kind of what drives me to beat games now is I want to catch all the Pokemon in that generation and update my living Dex. Right. Um, so that's what drives me to beat them, where you don't have that. So you're you're in it to experience the story, and I am too. But for Sun and Moon, I feel like it's it's harder to progress because you really are just like the trials feel more like a tutorial in a yep. way than actual progression i remember so that being a complaint a f- when that game came out was like it was so tutorial yeah. heavy 
Uh, yeah. But yeah, I know what you mean. I so. I think that for I don't know like it. I I love Gen two. I think Gen two is my favorite. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, it's a lot of people's favorite. And um, like I. I can see the thing is it's funny though because I I can see myself I don't know why but I can see myself going back and probably I'd be able to to play all the way through two again, but I don't know if it's because of nostalgia, but or if it, it's just something about those games that I just click with me and I don't know if it's yeah I don't know what it is. Um, I person you know what um, I personally like the older style of the Pokemon games like I don't mind the top down. Top Town's fine with me. Like, the formula's fine with me. When they switched to 3D, that's when they kind of lost me because my whole thing with Pokemon is I love, like, the sprites. I love, like, the little stumpy people in mm-hmm. the world. Yeah. Like, making it more human. Like, now I'm kind of used to it, but at first I was like, ooh, I don't know if I like right. this. And it was I think it, at first it was because the, they tried to keep, like, the, chub, the, the chubby, like, chibi proportions with the 3D character. So you had, like, these 3D, like quote-unquote normal sized people with g- these giant heads <laughs> yeah. and it was kind of weird and sun and moon they changed it so you're a little bit more proportional mm-hmm. which i liked better so i like the characters better in sun and yeah. moon but it, that 3d still didn't click with me for some yeah. reason i think for me two is my favorite just because i mean i agree with you i think like the the top down for the older ones i think i i, it, I think it I think works, it works better. Way better i think it works better um, yeah because i even just like, I still remember how awesome your rival was in in Gen Two. Like they yeah. haven't had a really yeah. good rival since that one. No, he's been your friend. They've always been like it's... your friends that end up being like your sort of like adversary, but not really. Like Gen Three. Yeah, they're never like you suck, dick yeah. player. You're gonna fail, and I'm gonna be the top. They've always been like, wow, we can do yeah. great together if we work as a team with our. Let's Pokemon test our blah, strength blah, 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 blah. for some reason for the fifth time. Yeah, exactly. It's never been like, hey, I'm gonna prove to you that I'm better. Yeah, fucking dick. Like that's how Gary was, and that's how I don't even remember who the rival was from. Gen the red hair. You but... can name him. Oh yeah. The, um, what's his name? I don't think he has one. Oh yeah, you can name yeah. it. You can name that yeah. one. The red haired yeah. kid, um, who's like spying on you in the in the. Um, professor's yep. lab um yeah like i i yeah. loved that aspect of it i was like this guy's fucking but then you like you yeah, find out you his want backstory. it gives you something to fight yeah. for it gives you something to fight for and then you unlike these games where it's just like oh yeah i have a friend he's kind of traveling with me he fights me every now and then he's yeah. easy <laughs> like and, and in sun and moon he picks the weakness yeah, he picks the weakness to your starter i know that was so weird it's to me fucking stupid that was so weird he like he poses no threat to you whatsoever <laughs> he's just an annoyance it was so weird to me when he did that fucking what's his name Koo or cow or how Kuku, how i think or something how? like that yeah that's remember. it how you're yeah. right how 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 did they decide that was a good idea <laughs> i don't know but it's like I just I love that aspect too of like uh, to you see this this kid who like he starts off as a dick but then like as the game progresses he's like has like a like he he's grown as by the time you get to the end yeah. of the game and like yep I love that and I also really really miss having certain events happen on certain days of like of the week where you'd find oh, yeah, random yeah, yeah, people yeah. just like popping up all over the place or some things would happen some days yeah. some things weren't wouldn't um yeah. i remember the end of the game or like the weather yeah. weather weather um specific pokemon i mean they still kind of have that but they usually do like nighttime daytime for that instead right. of like um i don't remember what gen- generation it was i had like the pokemon designs but i thought it was cool they had like the the genie pokemon that appeared like in thunderstorms or sandstorms yeah or whatever. that was diamond um pearl no i think that was I want to even say that was like Gen Five. Like, I want to say that was Black and been. White. Yeah. Because the designs are kind of weird. I don't think it was that. No, it definitely wasn't Gen Four. Okay. Um, because Gen Four was like my fave, and I don't remember that. Gen Four had like Giratina and okay. stuff. See, I remember. So. I don't remember Gen Four the most out of all of them. Um, really? Oh, you sh- like if there's one Pokemon game to replay, I'd recommend getting Platinum and playing through Platinum. Okay. Because I, I mean, I, I played it's it. So good. I was in. The, I think. Yeah. We all did things to acquire that game so uh yeah i bought it from our from the from rachel the girl across the hall from us at college yeah, so 
she like magically had it with the case and everything. I was like, I'll fucking buy that off you. <laughs> That's right. So I I like yeah. I remember uh, the game being good. I just uh, I don't remember it for some reason. It's the one game that yeah. I haven't. Uh, that's a lie. I haven't actually beat X and Y or uh, Sun and Moon yet, so. <laughs> you were going to say it's the only game you haven't yeah. beaten. So. <laughs> you proved, disproved yourself in uh, the same podcast. It's really bad because um, I, it's X and Y, I was at the Elite Four. I just haven't beaten it yet. Yeah. And apparently you're at the same spot with the Sun Yeah, or moon. but here's the thing is that I think so. I started over with X and Y for some reason. I was like, I'm just going to fucking oh, really? start over because I don't remember a damn thing. And then I think I made it past, like, the first gym. So, yeah. I'm not going back to that one. <sighs> yeah, it's unfortunate. But yeah, so Marshadow <laughs> cool. is going to be uh, uh, eventually in Sun and Moon. So we'll see where that leads. And uh, yeah, I guess that's uh, I guess that's a wrap for uh, for the slash group for the week. For the um, slash cast. It's not really that. For the slash group slash cast slash slash pod. Um. This, never anyone used slash pod for anything. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's not even that short of an episode, Jesse. I think we uh, I think we pulled it together. It's going to be around 40, 40, 50 minutes. So. Yeah, man, um, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, like, comment, subscribe to Slash Group for more uh, podcasts every week on, on Slash Group Saturday. Yeah. Um, watch, uh, or, uh, and... watch the live streams and uh, check out the, our Facebook page as well. Yeah, we have a Facebook page. Um, I don't know if we have an actual URL or URL yet. Actually, I think we might. I think it's facebook.com slash slash group spelled out. Um, to, so S-L-A-S-H-G-R-O-U-P. I've had to start correcting uh, whatever I've been saying. Like It's like, it's slash group, but with the word this time. Yeah, yeah, because we had this issue where we couldn't search for an actual slash group on youtube or anything or you if you type slash group into google it would like bring up a command so we <laughs> changed it to spelt out but the logo is still the same because that's the envisioned idea is the slash but it just doesn't work for uh search engine optimization <laughs> so yeah so like us on that like us here um watch jesse's live streams watch or just watch the live streams when they go up on youtube um yeah, we'll have some near episodes watch the up watch some lfgs i like i said um i just finished wolf among us i'm gonna be playing ukulele They'll, there might even be an episode up by the time this gets put up um we have, uh, robin join you for that one. Oh, uh robin probably won't join me for ukulele you for ukulele but um we're still planning on playing snipper clips it just hasn't happened yet because we've been busy um Sick. with catching her up on game of thrones uh, good excuse i guess <laughs> we literally we've literally been like spam watching that so she's finally caught up and i need yeah. to anyway again uh all that stuff subscribe and we'll catch you guys next time bye bye